Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Laravel provides many packages for authentication, such as Laravel Breeze, Laravel Fortify, Laravel Jetstream, and Laravel UI. Laravel Breeze and Laravel Jetstream are modern packages that utilize Tailwind CSS, while Laravel UI is an older package that uses Bootstrap. Many Laravel developers still prefer using Bootstrap. In this video, we will learn how to implement authentication using the Laravel UI package with Bootstrap 5 in Laravel 11. Before installing Laravel 11, ensure that PHP 8.2 is installed on your system, as Laravel 11 requires a minimum of PHP 8.2. Right-click and click on Open in Terminal. Type the command php-v to check the PHP version installed on your system. Here you can see that PHP 8.2.0 is installed on my system, which is the minimum requirement for Laravel 11. Here in the Laravel documentation, you can find instructions on how to install Laravel using Composer's create project command or by globally installing the Laravel installer via Composer. I will use Laravel installer to install Laravel 11, you can install it using the command Composer global require Laravel slash installer. After installing Laravel installer, check the version of Laravel installer using the command Laravel dash dash version. In your terminal, type the command Laravel dash dash version and press enter. Here, you can see the Laravel installer version 5.7.2, which is the latest version available at the moment. Now, type the command Laravel, new, your project name and press enter. You will see a prompt to install a starter kit. Since we will not use any of these starter kits, simply type none and press enter. Now you will be asked for testing frameworks, type 0 for PEST or type 1 for PHP unit. Now for git repository, type no and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. Now you will be asked, which database your application will use. Type MySQL and press enter. Now you will be asked to run default database migrations, type no and press enter. It will take some time to install the dependencies, depending on your internet connection. The download has been completed. Now type cd your project name and press enter to navigate to the project directory. Now open your project in Visual Studio Code. We need to create a database for our application. Open.env file. Copy this database name. I have already started Apache and MySQL in XAMPP server. Go to your browser and open phpMyAdmin. Click on Databases. Paste the database name here and click on Create to create the database. 
the database has been created. Click here and open a new terminal. Now type the command, PHP Artisan Migrate to migrate the database. You can see the migration was successful. Go to PHP My Admin. Click on the database and you will see that all the tables have been created. Now let's run our Laravel 11 app. In your terminal, type the command PHP Artisan Serve and press Enter. Go to your browser and type localhost colon 8000 and press enter. You will see the new Laravel 11 welcome page. Scroll down and you will see PHP and Laravel versions. Here you can see Laravel version is 11.6.0 and PHP version is 8.2.0. Now let's install Laravel UI package. In Google type Laravel UI and press enter. Click on this link. First we will install Laravel UI Composer package. Click here to copy the command. Click here and select command prompt to open a new command prompt. Paste the command which you have copied and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection. Laravel UI package has been installed successfully. Now we will install the front-end scaffolding. For basic scaffolding, you can use this command. For authentication scaffolding we will use UI artisan command with dash dash auth flag. Copy this first command. Paste the command which you have copied and press enter. It will ask, the controller file already exists. Do you want to replace it? Type yes and press enter. Now we need to run npm install and npm run dev commands to compile the scaffolding. Type the command npm install and press enter. Now type the command npm run dev to compile CSS and JS files. Go to app slash http slash controllers folder and you will see auth folder where all the controllers for authentication are generated, like confirm password controller, forgot password controller, login controller, register controller, reset password controller and verification controller. Here is the home controller, which will be used to display the dashboard to the logged in users. Open resources folder. You can see SAS folder with underscore variables dot scss and app scss files. Open views folder and you will see auth folder. Here is home.blade.php file. In auth folder, you will see passwords folder, login, register and verify blade view files. In the passwords folder, you will find confirm, email and reset blade view files. Open layouts folder and you will see app.blade.php file. Here in the head tag, bootstrap script and styles are referenced using at Vite blade directive. In routes folder open web.php file. Here you can see auth routes, which is a convenient method provided by Laravel to quickly generate all the routes needed for user authentication, such as login, registration, and password reset. The second route is the home route, which will redirect the user to the dashboard after they log in. 
open composer.json file and you will see Laravel UI version, which is 4.5. Open package.json file and you will see popper.js, bootstrap and sass in the dev dependencies. Go to your browser. Reload the page and you will see login and register links on the welcome page. Click on the login link and you will see login page. Click on forgot your password link and you will see forgot password page. Click on register link and you will see register page. Enter your name, email, password, and confirm password, then click on register to create a new user account. You can see that you are now redirected to the dashboard page. Click here to go to the welcome page. Here you will see dashboard link to go to the dashboard page. But there is a small bug. If you click on the dashboard link, instead of the dashboard page, it will display a 404 page not found error. Click on the dashboard link and you will see a 404 page not found error. Let's fix this. Open web.php file. Here you can see the URL for the dashboard is slash home and route name is also home. Now open welcome.blade.php file. Here you can see that the URL for the dashboard link is slash dashboard instead of slash home. Replace dashboard with home. Go to your browser. Click here to go back. Reload the page. Now click on the dashboard link and you will go to the dashboard page. Instead of using a direct URL, we can also use the route helper function to generate the URL for the dashboard link. Duplicate this line. Replace URL with route and also remove slash from home. Comment out first line. Go to your browser. Click here to go to the welcome page. Now click on the dashboard link and you will go to the dashboard page, which means that route helper function is working properly. Now, to add dark mode to our app, we need to add the database theme attribute to the HTML element inside the app.blade.php file. This is a temporary solution, for dynamic switching between dark and light modes, I will create a separate video. Open app.blade.php file. In the HTML element, add database theme equals dark. Comment out this code. Here I have added BG body tertiary, border bottom, border info subtle classes to the nav class. Go to your browser and you will see dark mode is applied to nav bar and dashboard view. Let's add border info subtle class in the dashboard view. Copy this class. Open home.blade.php file. Paste the class which you have copied. Remove dash bottom. Now copy this class and paste in the card body class. Open login.blade.php file and add the border class in the card and card body class. Open register.blade.php file and add the border class in the card and card body class. Finally, open email.blade.php file and add the border class in the card and card body class. Now go to your browser and you will see that border class has been applied to the dashboard view. 
Click on Logout. Click on the login link and you will see that the border class has been applied to the login view. Click on the forgot password link and you will see that the border class has been applied to the reset password view. Finally, click on the register link and you will see that the border class has been applied to the register view also. In this video, we learned how to implement authentication in Laravel using the Laravel UI package, which comes with Bootstrap. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.